you were so natural, so believable. It was oh, lovely. Thanks. Yeah, <laughs> well, I, I had youth on my side. It wasn't until it had been out for a couple of weeks, and it was number one at the box office, yeah. and there were lines around, you know, the blocks at the theaters. And my phone at at home, like back in the '80s, you know, where where you would only get a busy signal yeah. if, the, if the line was engaged. It just kept ringing. I'll bet it did. I'll uh, bet it did. Because all of the agents who had turned me down... Uh, all of a sudden, they're like, oh, yeah. OK, we'll give him a call. <laughs> they said, we don't care if you live in Texas. You don't have to live in Hollywood. Yeah, it was all very different. A bit overwhelming. And what I thought was very sensible of you and, and your parents and your family was you just took a wee step back for a while, just to have a normal life. Uh, I did, yes. Uh, it was mostly voluntary, but yeah. uh, I think... The, the overwhelming fame uh, scared the hell out of my parents. Yeah, I'm not surprised. And my mother, who was very much into living a rural life, was not pleased at having to pack up and go off with me when I... For sure. Yeah. But now things have changed so dramatically because the haunting of Hill House, I've never seen reviews like this. It's incredible, isn't it? It's, it's frightening. But I'm... <laughs> <laughs> once again, <laughs> once again, it's going to happen to you all over again. Hey, but it has been. I mean, this is a, an incredible story, isn't it? It is. And it's uh, obviously uh, the Shirley Jackson novel uh, had its life and it's been uh, adapted into film sure. and television several times. but. This is a very unique telling of the story, mm. and, and Mike Flanagan, the director, is a very, very talented uh, man when it comes to this genre. Yeah, because it is really scary. I mean, it's all about... It's about, I guess, that you're a dad of five. He's found his perfect house, but, oh, dear, it all goes horribly wrong. It's on Netflix, so we can binge. Yes. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you can good. watch everything at once. I know, you I know. Watch. Working with those kids, working with five children, as you were, could you, I mean, because they obviously, they would know the whole E.T. story. Did, did you help them in any way? Did they need that? Or Because I guess you've got a unique take on what it's like to be a child actor. Yes. And, you know, of course, they all know the film and they knew that my, my history and mm. everything. And, and um, you know, so it's a bit of a responsibility. Yeah. Like, you know, you feel like the oldest Boy Scout. <laughs> and... Uh, but these kids are so talented mm. and they're so professional. I mean, Violet McGraw, who is, was five years old at the time playing my youngest daughter now, she never dropped a line, wow. you know? She yeah. knew it. She could barely read. <laughs> but I'm, she could do it. I don't, know if, I, I don't know if I could make it in today's <laughs> world as a kid actor. Like it, these it, they are astonishing. They really are. Now, in real true life, of course, you're a dad. Yes. And what about your kids? What do they think of E.T.? Do they just think, are they... You know what kids are like. They're not that impressed anyway, but... No, well, this is kind of sad, Lorraine, but I'll tell you. <laughs> I'll tell you all. <laughs> uh, I had kind of set it up as a big reveal, you know, because they hadn't seen the film. And I thought that I would introduce them to E.T. and they wouldn't know that it was me. And uh -huh. So I set it up and they were all in the room watching it. And when it started, I said, do you recognize that fellow <laughs> right there? And, you know, my daughter, who's eight at the time, turned around to me and said, yes, dad, it's you. We know it's Aww, you. They knew. We've already seen the preview on one of our DVDs. We know this is the movie you made when you were a kid. Like, big deal? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> big whoop. <laughs> it's not fair. And, and this was me. I think my reaction was this. Oh. <laughs> it's like, crushed. <laughs> and then, then I was off to the kitchen. Yeah, that would be about it. That would be Very... about it. Love the fact there's a big Welsh connection with you. Yes. Isn't there? Because the family, your family history, they're from Wales, but you support Swansea City, I believe. Yes, I do. You do? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's fantastic. Yeah. Well, um, you know, a, a, a few years ago, I actually, like, tracked down my DNA uh, uh, progression, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. and uh, found out a lot of information about the family that I didn't know because we've been in America a long sure. time. But, yeah, both my, my mother and my father's family uh, come from Wales, North Wales and South Wales. Wow. And you support Swansea FC. I love that. You have to go and see if you can take in a game when you're over here. Yes, I do. I want them back in the Premier League. I know. Oh, tell me about it. Yeah. I think it's... I know. I know. But I think it's wonderful that there's a little part of America that is forever supporting Swansea.